I'm Alex Mullen, and I'm a second year medical student at the University of Mississippi. And you have a special skill. I do, yeah. What's uh, your skill? It's just uh, memorizing stuff. It's memorizing cards, numbers, anything. So if you're a Sherlock fan, that's known as? Uh, Mind Palace or Memory Palace, yeah. What is a memory athlete? Um, well, we go to these competitions and we just memorize different things and events. Basically, the idea is just to memorize as much stuff as fast as possible. Um, so there are cards events where you memorize a deck of cards. There are numbers events, uh, memorizing names and faces, that kind of thing. So anyone who just goes to these competitions and competes is a, is a memory athlete. How did you discover this ability? Uh, well, it's, it's not really a kind of an innate talent that I have. I practiced it a lot. Um, I learned about it originally from a, a book that I read. Uh, and so I just learned about the techniques, I started practicing them, and then eventually got to a point where I was competing. <laughs> so. And describe the process, how do you do it? Um, the gist of it is that you, you try to turn what you want to memorize into images, um, or like mental pictures that you can see in your head. And then what I do, for instance, to memorize a deck of cards or to memorize a string of numbers, is I'll pick a place, a location, and I use that as like a, a journey that I kind of walk through and then place these images that I've created uh, on spots in the journey and then when I walk kind of mentally walk back through the journey I see those images and I can recall the information that I wanted to memorize. And it's called a? It's called a, yeah, some people call it a memory palace, some people call it the journey method. Um, yeah, so you, you do have to kind of review it if you want to keep it long for long-term memory. Um, I'd say like for instance for a deck of cards, memorize a deck of cards like during a competition I'd probably remember that for probably till the end of the day maybe um, and then if I wanted to keep it, I just have to review it maybe that night or the next morning or whenever, and then maybe once again, like the next week or something like that, and then, then it's usually kind of in long-term memory. What a lot of people do is they, they turn each card into an image. So for instance, Night of Clubs could be like Michael Jordan or something like that. Uh, and then they, they, so they'll take like Michael Jordan and put him on, you know, that door, or maybe this is um, uh, like, Gandalf from Lord of the Rings, or you take him and you put him on that table and then you kind of do that thing. Um, so what I do and what a lot of like, I guess, um, more hardcore competitors do is I, I put, I make, make each pair of cards an image. So like, for instance, this is a mushroom for me. This is like um, a particle accelerator, like in the one in Switzerland. This is this, this guy I know from home, Sparky. This is uh, the actor Rob Lowe. <laughs> uh, this is, Amy Santiago, a character from Brooklyn Nine-Nine, the TV show. So I just do that kind of thing, and then I. So were you just making did, those up just then? Or are those standard when you see those, those are two standard. pairs together? Right. You, that's what they are. So I've like I put time in at the beginning to create a system for this. So right, every time I see this, I see the mushroom. Every time I see this, it's the same. It's the same thing for me every time. So what yeah. happens when you when, when they're shuffled and the particle accelerator and Gandalf come up in different orders? I mean, you right. You well, create a new image using those same. Right, so I mean, if I so if I shuffle it right, and then I look again, so I'll get this now. So this is a cave for me. So I'll just use you know, I'll put a cave there, and um, this is a coffee shop like a Starbucks. So you know, every time it comes up, I have you know a new image that I. So basically, I have just I mean, this might get a little complicated, but I have uh, thousand three hundred and fifty two images. Uh, so every time you know a pair comes up, I have something pre prepared for it. And that's just for the deck of cards. That's, that's just for the deck of cards. For all the other things you remember. Right. So what I, what I do is I have a thousand um, images for numbers. So each each three digit uh, thing of numbers, I have a special image for that. So this is like I said, thirteen hundred. That one's a thousand. So I kind of overlap those two. So how does this help uh, in medical school? Um, I think it helps a lot. I mean, I you know I learned it originally to just because I thought it would help me in school, not to do any of this kind of competing stuff. Uh, and I think it, it helps a lot. I mean, I, I don't use the, the kind of journey thing that I talked about quite as often, but I do, when, when I study and I, I try to look for things that I want to memorize, I do try to turn those into pictures and help remember it that way. Um, you just kind of remember little details about drugs or particular types of bacteria or the names of different things or whatever. I try to turn those into images and that helps me remember them better. Okay. Just let me just give me a chance to okay. kind of it in my head and make sure I Okay, I'll try to recall it. Okay. Um, 
it can be, sometimes recalling it like out loud can be a little difficult, <laughs> like with the like using the pair of cards, like okay. I said. But I'll can we help you anywhere? Do, do we best. need to do anything? Um, no. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Okay, so Jack of Hearts. Is that right? Okay. Um, Ace of Diamonds. Okay. Uh, two of Spades. Two of Clubs. Um, I want to say Nine of Diamonds. Nine of Spades. Um, five of Hearts. Seven of Spades. Um, d -d 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 Ten of Diamonds. Uh, three of Hearts. Um, six of Clubs. Queen of Clubs. Um, seven of Hearts. Six of Hearts. Um, eight of Spades. And then King of Diamonds. Um, Ace of Spades. Three of Diamonds. Uh, five of Clubs. Nine of Hearts. Um, okay. Three of Clubs. Four of Spades. Um, okay. Four of Clubs. Six of Spades. Um, okay. Uh, Queen of Diamonds. Is that right? Uh, King of Hearts. Um, okay, okay. This one might stump me. Um, is it King of Spades? Okay. Uh, Jack of Diamonds. Uh, Four of Hearts. Ace of Clubs. Um, Ten of Spades. Four of Diamonds. Okay. Um, five of Spades. Queen of Spades. Um, okay. A ten of Hearts. Uh, eight of Clubs. Okay. Uh, Jack of Clubs. Two of Hearts. Uh, Ace of Hearts. Eight of Diamonds. Um, two of Diamonds. Ten of Spades. Okay, okay. Um, eight of Hearts. King of Clubs. Queen of Hearts. Two of Diamonds. Oops. Uh, seven of Diamonds. Five of Diamonds. Um, seven of Clubs. Six of Diamonds. And then nine of Clubs. Jack of Spades. Is that right? All right. <laughs> wow. That's, yeah, that's, so that's impressive. <laughs> Thank you. So how long does it take you to, how long did it take you to learn that? Um, I mean, to get to, get to this point, mm. take, I mean, I've been practicing for like two years. Um, but I think just to, I mean, just to kind of set up a system and get to a point where you can do this kind of thing, um, I, I think you could do it in a, in a month. I don't think anybody watching this would believe you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I didn't, I didn't believe it when I first started out. I thought it was just like just too good to be true. You know, something kind of that you know people just kind of sell to make money. It's not real, but it, but it works. So it works. some of them you just, you, I mean, they just flew by. Then some of them you had to think a, a second or two about what's yeah. the what what makes the difference. It's just the image you've attached to it. Is uh, yeah. Um, well, so some of the, I guess the reason that is so I, I kind of have this. Without trying to get too detailed, it's a it's like a phonetic based system. So, for instance, starting off the front, um, let's let's go with this one. So this, yeah, let me find a good example because these are. So for instance, this one. Um, so this this so I first kind of read the suit pair. So this is a heart and a diamond, and so for that for me that just makes a J sound like a like a J or a sh sound. Um, and then so the three for me represents an M sound and the 10 represents an S sound. So I get this collection of sounds, which is J, M, and then the S sound. And so for me, that's, that kind of spells out James. Does that make sense? 
And so for, for me, this is uh, Captain James Kirk from Star Trek. So, so that's kind of how I like turned this into an image. Um, but I, I mean, obviously, like, you know, you practice that and it becomes sort of second nature, but that's how I first set the system up. So w I guess for the reason some images are slower is partly because I either didn't memorize them very well or because the phonetic coding is a little more tricky to kind of decipher in my head. And so that's why, like I said, recalling it out loud is sometimes difficult um, versus just like kind of rearranging a deck of cards in the table is a little bit easier. So, so in medical school, when you're learning complex things, when you've got to do a lot of memorization or you've got right. to, you use this to... Yeah, I mean, I, so like I said, I, you know, the, the, this kind of, so to memorize this, I used a, a journey, like a memory palace. Um, I used my home when I grew up, where I grew up in Oxford. Um, and so I just would place the images along, you know, a route in my house. Um, for medical school, I do that sometimes. I do it when I'm trying to learn something that has some sort of sequential order, you know, like a... Uh, it could be anatomy, or um, like a, some sort of tract, and like a like a nerve tract, or something like that, or a biochemical pathway. Um, so I, I do use it when it's you need that kind of sequential order, like I said. But a lot of times, if it's just sort of these, you know, facts of information, I just kind of create images and don't actually put them in any particular place. Are you pulled out at uh, at parties and uh, to, to show really. your skill? <laughs> Not yet. No. Well, you will be. <laughs>